Hi friends, I'm Melissa Renner, pastoral leader in Women's Ministries. As we begin 2021, it doesn't really feel like the fresh start a new year typically brings. We were all longing for a sudden return to the life we once knew as soon as 2020 ended. What an incredibly difficult year we just endured. Lockdown felt like a lock up. Social distancing still feels like an emotional wilderness. Face mask and hand washing are good, but it is evident we need to protect more than our faces and our hands. We need to guard our character and our responses to life's daily challenges. Our witness for Christ is more important now than ever. We all yearn to know when life will get back to what we defined as normal. Although we don't know those answers, we do know what God's Word tells us about our future. That's why the study of prophecy is an endless blessing. We know Christ is returning. We know we have the promise of heaven. And we know that no matter what Satan attempts in this world, our God wins. Find ways to reflect and remember that in those moments where Satan tries to steal your joy. As Christians, how wonderful would it be if we were all just as concerned about the spread of the gospel as we were the spread of COVID? How can we change our outlook of trials and challenges to see these as opportunities where we can advance the gospel of Jesus? Christ is refining us all during this process and purifying His bride. Are you surrendering to Him or are you fighting Him? This is the time of year most of us consider resolutions. When I reflect on New Year's resolutions I've made in the past, I have to laugh because now they all seem so trivial. Losing weight, more exercise, and other such silly things now seem starkly irrelevant in light of eternity. With anxiety, worry, and grief defining most of this last year, I want to challenge you, as well as myself, to embrace a new resolution together. Let's define 2021 by our worship. By this, I don't mean just gathering together on Sundays or singing a few songs. Worship is the attitude of our hearts. In Romans, we see that worship calls us to die to self and submit to our God. Only our God is omniscient, knowing all things past, present, and future. Only our God is omnipresent. There is nowhere we can go to hide from Him. He is our Creator, Redeemer, Sovereign over all, and He alone is worthy of our praise. Daniel 2.20 says, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are His. 1 Chronicles 29.11 says, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Psalm 29 includes these verses. Honor the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord for His glory and strength. Honor the Lord for the glory of His name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord rules over the floodwaters. The Lord reigns as King forever. The Lord gives His people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. Our Lord is allowing this whole world to be shaken. He is still in complete control on the throne and His plans have not been altered. Despite everything going on in the world, how do you abide in the Lord? Let's trust Him, honor Him, praise Him, and reflect His light and love to the hurting, broken, and lost world around us. Let worship define this year.